What's up, y'all? You got Sir Fitzhugh here with a new update for the NES Mini. Uh, this is the 2.12 version of the Hitachi or Hakachi, still can't fucking say it, uh, NES Mini Pimp Tool. Uh, they've added quite a few stuff, but first thing you're gonna want to do it's come to this page just like the other ones and you're going to want to download the Hitachi 2 zip or the uh, debug zip. I'm not entirely sure what the debug zip does, but uh, either one of those are fine. And then the next thing you're going to want to download is I, ha I have a link to both of these down in the description. It's going to say first public release and this is going to be the mod you're going to be adding to it, the retro art mod. And what this is going to allow, it's going to allow for new mappers for like hacks and all that stuff, which is awesome. Of course, you had the NES and the Super Famicom Disk System. It added the Super Nintendo, Game Boy, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance, uh, Sega Master Systems, uh, the Genesis, and the N64. Down here, you're going to want to download these first two the uh, Clover app and the Retro Arch. Uh, you're going to just want to download them too. So, that's it for there. I've already got them on my desktop. As you can see down here, I still have my previous versions. That's like uh, the 2.10 and that's the 2.11 right there. So, you can have them just in case you're not satisfied with the new update. But you're going to want to come over here. Oh, let me go ahead and close this. This is the 2.10 version. Want to open it up. First thing you're going to want to do is go to user mods. Now I've already done all this stuff. And uh, that right there will be outside here. You see you have this Clover app that zipped. This one, I think it says Clover app as well. But it's going to look just like this piece of paper right here. And the only thing you're going to want to do is drag and drop it into the user mods. So back out of that. Once you've done that, you're going to want to open the program. Oop, I want to change the name of it. First thing, you want to dump the Kimmel if you're working with a fresh NES Classic. Once you've dumped the Kimmel and flashed it and all that good stuff, you want to come over here to modules. Oh, I do not want you to come back up. Uh, modules and you're going to click install extra mods and then you're just going to click this one I've already done it just hit ok and it's going to pop up where is it right there and then from there you're just going to add your games uh, I took off the original 30 so I could show you all the games I've added without having to search from them got an N64 title here 007 GoldenEye Contra, the Alien Wars for Game Boy. Uh, got a uh, Pokemon Crystal version. Love that game for Game Boy uh, Color. Then you got Sonic the Hedgehog for the Sega Master System. And Super Mario Kart for uh, the Super Nintendo. Now, note it. Uh, like with the N64 and the Super Nintendo, you're losing uh buttons unless you i suggest using a, a wii classic controller or a wii pro controller any of the wii controllers that have the uh they have the same adapter for the nes classic so any of them should work fine and the from what i've seen the buttons are mapped correctly so you shouldn't have no problem playing a game without having to worry about button maps um they are aware of uh, the N64 problem. There is a frame rate deal going on right there. Uh, they are working on it. And I'm sure they will have it fixed in no time. Because this guy has been awesome with it. But uh, without wasting any more time. Let's go ahead and uh, jump into some gameplay. Alright and we're back now. Uh, as you see I didn't put cover art. Because I want to show y'all. This is a one way y'all can uh, choose between what console you're playing. Because uh, you know some games have the same titles for different consoles. Like the Super Mario's. I think they change it like say Advance for the Game Boy Advance and all that. 
I actually didn't put a Game Boy Advance game on here. It uh, does work fine from uh, what I've seen. Uh, I just put the N64 uh, Golden Eye on here just to show y'all. 007. I just screwed up that whole name, but that's okay. Just to show y'all, which I'll probably just stick to the um, games that have the uh, just the two action buttons and directional pad with start and select. Just to, because I don't have the controller for it. But as y'all can hear that cracking noise that is coming from the game. Oh man, I just realized that y'all probably are hearing that double. I'm sorry about that. But you see, the frame rate is a little off. But the game itself is working fine. Or uh, kinda. I'll get into some gameplay here so y'all can see. But it is working. Like I said before, they are working on uh, correcting all this stuff. So in a matter of time, this all this should be working perfectly. Which I'm quite excited for. As you can see, the frame rate. And I'm not going to be able to do much because I'm going off of the NES Classic, the Nintendo controller it came with. So yeah, that's all working. Uh, let's go over to Contra. This is a Game Boy game. Contra Alien, the Alien Wars. I should jump in here, which this is working fine. Uh, I haven't seen any problems with a working Game Boy games, which I wouldn't think, oh shit, it would be a problem for them. Let's just exit out because I'm starting to get my ass kicked. And then here we got a Game Boy Color game, Pokemon Crystal. Oh wait, hold on a second. So y'all ain't gotta sit through all that. Oh, y'all can do save states on all these games as well. And I went ahead and save states so y'all didn't have to sit through all that dialogue and everything. But as you can see, it's working just fine. Which is awesome, because I remember playing this game as a kid. This was actually my first game I got on my, uh, like, neon, what was that, lime green Game Boy Color. And that is just awesome. So, let's exit out of there. Because they're telling me to wait. And then we are going to go to the Sega Master System. Now, this is also another 8-bit console like the NES. Which I have yet to see any problems with this. I mean, the game works flawlessly from what I've seen. And that, I don't really have much to say about the uh, Sega Master System. I'm not, I haven't tried out a whole lot of games. I just figured Sonic, everybody would know. There is a slight slowdown. But uh, once the game gets going, it does clear itself up. Which, there's some uh, Nintendo games that have the exact same slowdown. So, it's not a big deal right now. And they are working on it. So, I'm sure that problem will be fixed in the future. And the last one I decided to try. Just because it's awesome. It's uh, Super Mario Kart. For the uh, Super Nintendo, of course. And this game works amazingly. Except, you know, the lack of the shoulder buttons and you're missing, um, what was it, X and Y. But uh, as far as everything else goes, the game works great. Uh, I'll, do a, I'll do a quick race on here just because it's awesome. I've been playing around with, oh, forgot. <laughs> got to hit the button I was pressing up but yeah as you can see it's working fine the NES Classic is handling it quite well uh, you're not going to be able to do the little hops to help with the turn but uh, once you play it around with it if uh, you only have access oh shit I'm doing terrible to the NES controller uh, you learn to adapt to it. 
you still got your action button so you can still use uh, the weapons and everything which is awesome so as far as gameplay goes it works great I would just suggest getting a different controller one of the Wii controllers either the Pro or the Classic or maybe even uh, the GameCube uh, controller for Wii I'm pretty sure that will work great and uh yeah that's it i mean not really too much to say about it i'm just glad it's working properly or uh, for the most part the uh two action button games are working properly having a you i think there's a way where you can do like a turbo graphics 16 on um, atar 2600 and all that I haven't played around with any of them yet, but uh, once I get some more information about the program, and once uh, they fix all these bugs, I will let y'all know. Man, that was terrible run. But, as far as that goes, that's all I have to say about it. If you have any questions, let me know down in the comments. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it on what I had to say about this. It's pretty cool. Uh, other than that, hope all y'all enjoyed this video. Hope it was helpful for y'all. Be sure to smash the like button if it was. If it wasn't, you know what button to press. All feedback is good feedback. And uh, I will catch y'all in the next one.